Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Bernoulli with Israeli News Live. And uh, I've, there's a couple of things I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, and I think you may find this very, very interesting. David Schmidt here, the founder uh, and CEO of LifeWave, discussed here what the technology is doing to help protect against 5G. That is absolutely crazy, you know, but very well needed. We're living in a world today where there is so much interference with everything in the environment that we're facing with attacks. And, and of course, I did not realize, David's going to talk about it in here in just a second. I want to play this clip for you. He talks about how that 5G is on the same wavelength as a microwave. That's nuts. He'll tell you the science behind a microwave, what it does, how it makes water boil, and then how that some of the studies they have done have shown that using the X39 patch that we talk so much about could actually help protect you from, or at least has shown to, to enhance uh, some protection, uh, theoretically at least, uh, in that area there. It's his hypothesis anyway. I would, maybe I should clarify it like that. We're going to talk about that as well as Dr. Sellers, uh, who joined us as well. And, uh, and she explains it wasn't the testimonies, it's the science. And not just the science, but as she puts it, she also wanted to make sure that it did not violate what Christians believe fundamentally that it would be in no way a violation to fundamental Christian faith in using this type of technology. So we'll share that with you. And by the way, tomorrow we're coming back to the situation going on over in Israel, uh, over with not only with Israel, what's happening in Gaza, but also the West Bank. It's a very serious situation. The escalation just continues to rise. It just never seems to end, never seems to die down. And... You know, quite frankly, it is very disturbing. I want to look at that from a biblical perspective as well. How does our Heavenly Father view this type of situation? Because so many people seem to justify the violence that is being done. Or, on the other hand, maybe Israel is just blind after all, and well, they just can't help it. Okay, well, I could get that maybe a little bit, but somebody has to be a voice that will stand for reasoning. Somebody's got to be a voice that says what you're doing is wrong. And somebody that's got enough guts needs to stand up and say enough is enough. The United States could bring an end to that immediately. But unfortunately, there's too many sounding the joy bells of Sin Barabbas out. Well, Barabbas has been set loose over in Israel today because the American public is calling upon Barabbas. Very sad to say. Let me go ahead and take you back over here, though, because this here, I know it really, a lot of people that may not have really given uh, LifeWave a, a second thought, and like I've said before, it is newsworthy, truly newsworthy, the technology that uh, David Schmidt has brought about. So I want to share this clip here with you where he talks about 5G and what they have discovered in studies and his own hypothesis. Listen in. We do have some preliminary data to that effect, and we've been exploring this with X39 and X49. Wow. And here, here was the hypothesis that I had about this is that First, I'm really glad that you asked the question because we know that 5G is becoming a very serious problem today and people aren't looking at what are the immediate and the potential long-term effects of this. We know going back through 2G and 3G networks that there was work done at the University of Colorado School of Medicine showing tissue heating in the brain for people that were keeping their cell phones up against their head. We had done clinical studies a number of years ago and we're working with SGS, and they're a very, very well-known testing lab, like UL, for example. And uh, we wanted to look at these tissue heating properties of the radiation that's coming out of cell phones. So, you know, one thing that would be important for people to know 
is that cell phones are using the same frequency as a microwave oven, 2.4 gigahertz. There it is. And the reason why a microwave is able to heat water or vegetables or whatever you put in there, which you shouldn't, is that it's causing the water molecules to rotate. And this creates friction in the water, which creates the heating. So the microwave is inductively transferring energy from the microwave. All right, now I, I gotta pause that for a moment. I mean, just think about that. I mean, I had no idea how a microwave works. I did not know that it literally takes the molecules of water and causes them to rotate to create the, the friction and that makes that water boil. Now, if your cell phone or a cell phone tower or whatever other uh, device is emitting this type of frequency, just imagine then we're made up of what, 90% water? Wow. Talk about turning around the water in your brain. No wonder why your ear gets so hot. You ever notice that? It, now, I actually got, not because of, uh, I got to where I use the speaker on my phone more so than anything, but it had nothing to do with the fact of not wanting to put it up against my head because of knowing this, because I did not. I always heard that it was dangerous to put a cell phone up next to your ear, but I just, ah, no big deal, right? Ah, it doesn't matter. Kind of sound like my uncle. And, uh, but... When I listen to David talk about this, I'm so thankful that I got to where I couldn't hear well because really a speaker was the only way I could hear. So I put the phone on speaker and I just hold it like this and listen. And he'll tell you that's the best way. If you're going to use a cell phone, it's the best way you could use it. Now, I remember when 5G was coming out, my stepbrother, he got freaked out because he says, oh my gosh, he said, Steve, do you realize this is the same thing we use for weapons to irritate the enemy over in Iraq was using a 5G technology. Now I understand why. They say it heats the body up. They can, they can uh, emit that frequency out. It heats the body up. Well, now I understand, listening to David Schmidt talk about this, is causing the water molecules in their body just to rotate like crazy. They're microwaving the people. That's what they're really doing. And that's what we're doing with technology today. But... Listen, though, this is absolutely amazing what he may have discovered in his research with X39, X49, two of the products that he offers. They head over into whatever is inside the microwave oven, so you get that transfer of energy. And it's really no different than with the human body. So the you know, first thing that I would recommend is that people do not put their cell phones up against their head. Keep it on speaker. Keep it away from the body. But, you know, the problem, of course, is that we're now living in this environment where Bluetooth, 5G, Wi-Fi is everywhere. And what do we do? Well, God has given us the ability to adapt. And, you know, human beings have been able to adapt to some pretty extraordinary things over the past, you know, how many thousands of years, how, <laughs> however long it's been, right? The human beings have been able to adapt and survive. And my personal belief is that we have the ability to be upgraded and to adapt. So how would we go about this? Well, in physics, if we wanted to isolate, uh, we wanted to perform an experiment and we wanted to isolate something from electromagnetic radiation, we would use what's called a Faraday cage. And a Faraday cage would be a copper screen that's grounded. So you put something inside this box made of, made of a copper mesh and then you ground it and electromagnetic energy can't get through. Now, did you, did you catch what, what he's talking about? The Faraday cage and a copper barrier, like a, like a screen or wire mesh and everything, ground that out. And then those, those uh, electric magnetic charges can't get through. Those frequencies, those 5G frequencies can't penetrate that. Okay. And that's fascinating because what he's fixing to tell you now is just, I mean, listen, it's like revolutionizing what I'm hearing. And I know there's been so many people that, that are afraid. They don't know. And, and believe me, I get it. I do get that, you know. Uh, we did a lot of research before sharing this product with our friends. But like I said, this is newsworthy. Uh, and this, you know, I mean, look, 
I'm sure you guys have done the same thing. You buy the caps that are made with copper in it and stuff because you don't want to have these uh, different frequencies frying your brains and things like that, right? Go around looking around, walking around looking like you got a stocking on your head. Okay, listen up. And so as I began to think about this, I thought, well, the skin is loaded with copper peptide and it decreases with age. And there's actually two different forms of copper peptide that we work with, GHK and AHK. They're both found in the skin. They both have benefits for the skin, but they both have some extraordinary effects. They're related to one another. They're like a mother-daughter peptide relationship. One is very broad, one's a little bit more narrow. But I thought, okay, maybe what we could do by elevating both of these peptides simultaneously is form a network of the peptides in the skin that will act like a Faraday cage. So Onyx was kind enough to refer me to a biochemist that was very interested in doing this work. I contacted a medical doctor that I knew that, that is heavily involved in energy medicine and has patients that are electromagnetically sensitive. And I said, okay, let's go ahead and see if this hypothesis could prove to be true. So we started to get some data back uh, from the biochemist and from that study saying, yeah, there is an effect here. People that are wearing X39 and X49 are getting a reduction in their sensitivity to 5G. Then went to the medical doctor and said, hey, you've really got something here. What I'm finding with my patients is that about three days after they start using X39 and X49, their symptoms from 5G are disappearing. So I would say we haven't proven yet that, that it is an effective means to block against 5G, but we, we certainly have some evidence that looks like it's going in that direction, that it, they are going to be useful tools in helping to protect people from this. All right, all right, let's back it up. Here. What I'm finding. Let's back it up. I want you to hear that last part one more time. The clinical data showed people that were using the X39, the X49 patch, which by the way, the X39 stimulates your own body's stem cells by the fact that it's it's exciting the copper peptides in your body uh x49 the clinic by the way the clinical studies x39 for example uh university of ireland they found out that diabetic neuropathy uh i think with 30 different they used 30 patients that had diabetic neuropathy in danger of losing their limbs as a result from, you know, you know, diabetic neuropathy, you know, where you can't feel your feet and stuff like that any longer. Every one of them, every one of them got the feeling back in their feet. I mean, my aunt diagnosed with dementia, just like my father, I, I would have given anything in the world to know. Uh, well, I knew about the product, but I had no idea what it did. When it was shared with me about a year and a half ago, nobody ever even said anything about the different testimonies or the studies that had been done and all the people that had been helped. If I had known it, I'd have put it on my dad. But I've watched my aunt who had gotten totally, and I'm gonna do a video with her before long. She just couldn't, she was no longer cognitively there. She, she, she could some degree hold it together, but just, it was a struggle. And now, she, I, I call her superwoman now. I'm like, unbelievable, right? But we're looking at a different different issue here because this is amazing for 5G. Listen to what he says here again. And with my patients is that about three days after they start using X39 and X49, their symptoms from 5G are disappearing. So after three to four days of using X39, X49, their symptoms were disappearing. I would say we haven't proven yet that, that it is an effective means to block against 5G, but we, we certainly have some evidence that looks like it's going in that direction, that it, they are going to be useful tools in helping to protect people from that. Wow. Deborah Tavares, where are you, my sister? I actually, we've been communicating a little bit. We're going to get Deborah Tavares back on here again with us uh, once again, but she's also been suffering uh, from, uh, she believes that she's being targeted. And I'm beginning to wonder after listening to what David Schmidt said here, could this not be something that might not help her? Uh, so, you know, listen. All right, let me take you real quick. Dr. Sellers, and we're going to do an interview with Dr. Sellers here before too long. Her husband and her both amazing couple here. My wife's going to ask Dr. Sellers a question. She is a doctor of chiropractic, 
chiropractic medicine. She's also a, uh, a doctor of functional nutritional practitioner. Uh, she has a private practice. She's been in practice for three decades. Uh, she is a believer, a very staunch believer in Jesus Christ. Uh, and I really love her approach. When, In fact, this is what prompted our, our meeting here. This was just on our Zoom call with her. But uh, because when she first signed up, uh, I, she signed up and I'm like, wow, this lady's fixing to be... Uh, blasting out the door but then almost two months go by and uh, and I saw no activity and I didn't know what was going on so I reached out to Dr. Sellers and I asked her and she said we just started introducing it to our patients she said but I had to take we did a private meeting with her and her husband and she said I had to take and I had to go and do the research about this technology and not only that, she said, I had to make sure that it did not violate Christian principles. And she said, once I was able to satisfy that I knew that both these criteria could be met, then I knew it could be safe to introduce to my patients. And she said, and I am proud to say it met those criteria. Listening to what she said, though, in our Zoom meeting here just recently. Any tools to, to help, you know, you use a lot of tools, you have supplements, you have herbs, you have lifestyle, a lot of things that you use. But now you also added uh, lightweight patches, X39, X49, and other patches uh, uh, as one of your tools. So, and when we were talking, you said something that really struck me and Steve, you said that you didn't really need testimonies. You were looking for data. You were looking for clinical studies and data. And once the data was there, you felt comfortable. So can you tell us, um, I'm sure that you studied this technology because that's, you told us that you would not even go with it if you didn't understand it. So tell us, please, what made you uh, choose LifeWave Patches as one of your tools for your patients? Absolutely. Well, my goal, I was saved when I was 12. So my goal in natural medicine, the whole, my whole career was just asking our creator to direct me, make sure that I was, uh, cause he put all the healing processes in our body to heal itself. And so as a chiropractor, it was really important to just make sure there was no interference in the neurology so that the body could function at its optimum. So this was a no brainer for me because we used a lot of uh, phototherapy there with cold laser and helping people with injuries. Um, there was a thermographer on staff. Um, so I now I want you to notice <clears throat> because what you, in case you're not aware of how the technology works, it's a biomodule uh, uh, phototherapy. And that's what the patch is. But now, like Dr. Sellers is mentioning here, in her own chiropractic uh, practice, she was already using phototherapy, photolight therapy, things like that. Very similar things that you're experiencing every day when you go, if you go to a chiropractor that you may already be experiencing, or even uh, not just a chiropractor, but even a, um, I know my doctor down in South Florida is a naturopathic, but also a regular medical doctor as well, internal medicine specialist. And he used those very same treatments as well in his clinic. Uh, so I, I didn't even think about that when I heard this, but it, again, it helps you to understand it's, Nothing really new, just a different way of applying that technology. Listen. I completely understand the ther thermogram uh, infrared piece. And, yeah. and so when... Um, now, I'll, I'll quickly mention, she mentioned she has a thermographer on staff. Uh, that was interesting in itself because many years ago when me and my wife first met, and we hadn't been married, I don't know, maybe a year or two, Thermography had, had just really been getting, it was kind of like grassroots. Uh, it had become very popular across the United States. You could still easily, if you had the money, you could invest, buy a clinic, get, get the equipment and stuff and start your own thermography. Uh, it was really becoming popular uh, in, for, for a couple of reasons, for diagnostic purposes, for mammograms, instead of mammograms using thermography, 
Uh, so we learn a lot about thermography, knew a lot about it. You could easily detect blocked arteries in the veins, things like that. And thermography just uses your body's light, and that's how they get the images. And, uh, and so this is why Dr. Sellers understands everything about the science. And she's going to tell you, she was reading the patents. She really broke it down. Listen up. And, and really, I've been really pretty strict uh, about using only what the father has created. So even when I recommend supplements, I try really hard to make sure that they're food-based or herbal combinations. Um, I try not to use too many synthetics unless there's just not a food concentration or herbal concentration available. So when I, but when I saw your uh, testimony video, the very first one you ever put out, and I, I've been watching you both for years and appreciate everything you've done. Um, so I, I felt like I trusted you and, uh, but I said, well, I get this. This is a no brainer for me, this, but I need to make sure I, I, I understand the biochemistry. I understand this technology, uh, but I need to make sure that this technology, because I've asked the, our creator to protect me from everything that's not of him, um, my whole three decades of being in this field, uh, I asked him to show me, show me the technology. Uh, so I went right on and got the patent and, and started reading. And right here on page two, this convinced me. So. Um, the technology is just like wearing a mirror. It's a reflector. So mirrors reflect light. And, but we can't wear a mirror strapped to us and it wouldn't work anyway. But it does reflect light. And so when I looked at this, I could see that it was a reflector. It's not putting anything in our body. There's nothing transdermal. It is uh, sealed. So it's not just a reflector, it's actually sealed, it's waterproof. The only thing that touches your skin is the sealed part. Now, I'll, I'll quickly show you because like I said, we're, let me grab one here. Uh, when, doctor, when Dr. Sellers is talking about sealed and non-transdermal, quite frankly, I had never really paid that much attention uh, and, and, of course, I did wonder, like many of you probably wonder, too. You're like, wow, you know, I mean, you can get patches like a lidocaine patch. And when you pull the, the, the sticker off of that thing, right? And here's the, like, it's like, a, it looks like a Band-Aid, right? And, uh, and this is the X39 right here. And when you go to pull it off, like a lidocaine patch, then the medication that's on that patch is right there and it's going to go against your skin and it'll absorb into your skin. And then when she said it was sealed, I really didn't begin to pay attention. And I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it is literally sealed. And now I know why they say it's waterproof, which by the way, I'm not wearing one right now, so I'll go ahead and just stick it back there. And you put it right there on, well, they, you can literally put it anywhere on your body. You could put it on your shoulder. You could put it between your eyes if you wanted to. I mean, if you want to do something goofy, uh, you could put it, you know, in fact, uh, you could put it right directly wherever the problem is that you have. It'll still work. But when they did their clinical studies, they did C7 on the spine was one place, and they did a place right below the navel. That was where they did their test studies. And anytime they're doing clinical studies, then they follow that path of the clinical study. But... David Schmidt has been asked that question before, and yeah, pretty much anywhere you want to put it. People put it on their shoulder sometime. They put it, in fact, uh, John Moore puts it on his knee, right directly on his knee, because that's where the problem is. And he has reported to me that it has given him phenomenal results. So let me continue to play a little bit more here of Dr. Sellers, because like I said, I want you to feel comfortable and to me, this is newsworthy information because I am seeing too many lives transformed and I hate to see people miss something that to me is so important. You know, if I didn't honestly, sincerely, not just believe in, in, in what, I, what I have seen, but I am a witness now 
uh, to so many people with incredible testimony, not just testimonies, backed up with doctor statements. I mean, a good friend of mine, 70% blocked in his carotid arteries. You know, two weeks later, after being on the patch goes in, they're getting ready to do the surgery. They go surgery. They go in there to do the ultrasound once more before they get scheduling for the surgery within a few days. And the doctor walks in. He goes, what have you been doing? He said, what do you mean, what have I been doing? He said, you have zero blockage in your carotid arteries, and that just doesn't go away. You know, my daughter, my wife, both. My daughter was starting to suffer migraines like my wife. Neither one of them with migraines any longer. And the countless other testimonies that I've heard. And some of them even reporting back. In fact, Dr. Sellers is doing the blood testing to follow up. She said it takes six months because that's the way she does it every six months on her patients. But I can only imagine what it's going to be like. Uh, absolutely amazing. A few, few, another minute or so, and we'll, we'll wrap this up. So, um, and it reflects the light that our Creator already put in us. It's not changing anything. It's just proliferating the healing processes that are already there. But because we live in the world we do with lots of interference um, from every angle, uh, there, there is um, lots of interference from every angle. It is... Um, Oh, I lost my train of thought. But we'll get um, it back. that's okay. <laughs> anyway, um, there is lots of interference from every angle. So we do need to oh proliferate pathways, right? So my whole career has been about supporting pathways and removing interference. Well, um, just this like is, the 5G. This again, it's a no-brainer. The technology proliferating the pathways that our creator already put in there. I mean, I had to add it to my practice. I feel like I would be violating my oath and doing harm if I wasn't offering this to people. But it'd be like them coming in for chiropractic care with an injury and I adjust them, but I don't offer them the phototherapy called laser that would help them get better faster. Right. Oh, that is amazing. Isn't that, that, I mean, just like my wife say, isn't that amazing? absolutely amazing I agree a hundred percent so you know let's face it you know I wanted you to feel a bit more comfortable and to also know some of the very fears this this is another thing that's amazing about uh, David Schmidt the founder of this product David Schmidt not only is he a believer himself but David Schmidt also he has really been a fighter for justice or humanity to begin with. Uh, and I know I have to be very careful on the platform we're on right now, what we say like that. Um, but he knows the dangers that are out there from other things that have been done over here in the last few years. And that's another thing I'd like to share later with you. And I will probably have to do that over on iConnect, though. Some of the early testimonials coming out of people that have been injured from those other treatments, we'll say, that are out there, um, and how they have been able to miraculously pull out of that. So, look, it I, I just, like I said, this is a newsworthy subject, and I really, uh, you know, I can't stress it enough. Um, you know, John Moore said to me one day, I was on his program, and he asked me to speak to his people about it. He said, I've never seen you, Steve, so excited about a product ever, and I never have been. But when I can see this many lives affected in a positive way, sure, I'm sure I'm excited, you know. Uh, anyway, thank you for listening, and uh, if you are interested... Uh, lifewave.com forward slash Ben Noon, B-E-N-N-U-N. -N -N. You see it there on your screen as it appears here as, we, as we're closing off. Uh, and, and by the way, that's another thing that's kind of cool they're coming out with. Uh, because I got to real thinking about, wow, gosh, when he talks about the copper peptides, I'm thinking to myself, well, what if you're low on copper peptides? Well, they, they do talk about that in some of the case studies they've done. 
Uh, and, you know, depending on the person's diet, depends on how well that they have the copper peptides in their body, because if you're eating foods high and rich in copper, that's always great. And I'm thinking to myself, gosh, boy, I need to go get me some copper supplement of some kind. What am I going to do, suck on pennies or what, you know? Well, he's actually developing, too. Uh, they're bringing it out pretty soon there. You're, that's, that's a little powder I think you'll be able to mix in, kind of like the electrolyte drinks that you were to have. Uh, but it'll have all the right uh, nutritional, organic uh, nutritional uh, uh, vitamins, whatever it is, minerals that you need, so that it will help enhance the ability. And that is because of those copper uh, peptides that we want in our body. We want those peptides excited by the X39, X49. And hey, who knows, maybe we will make a Faraday cage out of our own bodies. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you very much. And don't forget, tomorrow we are going to go back and we're going to deal with this situation. And we're going to just see. And I've been, I've really been searching this too, scripturally, for several days now uh, because this is bothering me that there is so much division over this issue. Um, you know, like I said, I get the fact that Israel is blind. That's true. I get that 100%. But if they're blind, it's our obligation to lead the blind and not let the blind lead the blind at that. And remember, Laodicea was blind, naked, miserable, and did not even know it. And she's the very church trying to lead Israel today. And Jesus said, if the blind lead the blind, they both fall in the ditch. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you very much. God bless you. And thank you for your support of this broadcast. And I have not forgot either. I promised I was going to do that video over on Patreon. And the only reason I didn't do it as of yet, as of yet, the one that reminded me of Revelation, what was it, chapter 19, talking about the wedding supper, is I was thinking maybe I'd already done it, right? But I don't think I have. I went back, I was looking everywhere, and I don't think I've done that. So I still want to share that testimony with you, as well as another testimony I'm going to share with you. Uh, I may do them simultaneously or I may do them separately. It just depends. I don't know yet, but I got to put them both over there on Patreon. We'll make it public eventually over here for you guys as well. It's just uh, just phenomenal things that have happened in my life. And I was passing a, a, a store the other day that used to be a part store that brought back the memory of when the Lord spoke to me audibly when someone was trying to steal the children's stroller. So <laughs> crazy. It's crazy, right? But those things happen. God bless you. Thank you for listening.